want you to be really light. So great, right through the leg and round, around the legs, step back. I'm gonna flick the ball forward, catch it. So trying to get that nice spiral. Hey guys, so we got 30 seconds before we're getting into a 12 minute rugby ball skills drills. Now I picked up a lot of these drills from my basketball background and also some passing drills where we get into the end of the workout. So grab your phone, set up your Bluetooth speakers, whether you've got your AirPods in or on your Bluetooth speaker, uh, you'll hear the ding come up. So we're going to work for 50 seconds and then have 10 seconds off to transition between. Last thing, you need one metre of space, one metre box for this drill, it's all the space you need. First drill, we're into it, pitter patter. So you'll be able to get through these drills wherever, in the backyard, in your lounge, because all you need is that one metre of space. So with this drill, nice light touches, don't want to be too slappy, you'll be able to hear that coming through the mic. Nice soft touches, just nice and quick. Keep that ball going. All the way above the head, all the way down to waist height, and we're going for 50 seconds. Keep it going. So on all these drills, we're going to try to pick up the speed with the last 15 seconds, and I'll let you guys know where that is. We're coming into the last 15 now, so really pick up your speed, keep it going nice and fast, keep it nice and light. Your arms are going to get pretty tired working through this 12 minutes, but it's all good for you. Five more seconds, keep your speed. Two, one, nice work. Next one's going to be around the back. So literally just going around the body, nice control for a start, get a feel for it, two, one, and we're on. So just around the body. Now tendency with these is to get quite slappy, so it's quite loud on your ball. I want you to be really light. So the best players, you see them on the field, they look like they've got so much time and they've got silky skills. It's because their touch is really light. They're really light on the rugby ball. They can move it, put it wherever they want. So again, just with this drill, we're staying in our one metre box. We're going to try speed up with 15 seconds to go. So nice control just for a start, feel your rhythm, get your timing of the drill. Good, keep it going. Right, last 15 seconds, speed it up. Try not to get too slappy when you speed it up. Keep it going. Nice, keep your speed. Your arms will be getting a little bit tired. Three, two, and one. Good 50 seconds, and rest. Whew, my arms are getting tight. So, going to the left this time, so around your body, the left way. Again, start nice and slow, get the rhythm. If you need to start really slow, that's fine. Remember to, not to get too slappy with it. Good, so my left side isn't as good as my right side, it doesn't feel as natural, so you guys will probably be the same, depending what your offhand is, but that's why we're doing these drills. Improve your skills, improve your ball drills. Gives you more time on the field. So five more seconds of control, then I really want you to push your speed. Hopefully I don't get too out of control. Right, 15 seconds, let's go. Good, my shoulders are already starting to burn. Keep it going. Three, two, and one, good 50. Next one we're doing is figure eight. So literally gonna make the figure eight shape with our body. So bend your knees on this one. We're going through the leg the other way. So figure eight through the leg and round, making that figure eight shape. So stay nice and low on these. We don't wanna to be too hunched over with our back. Nice and low, figure eight. So again, first part of the drill, we just wanna be nice and controlled. Keep it going. I'm gonna speed up in that last 15. Right, we're into our last 15 now. Let's speed it up. Sound effects are optional. Big speed, last five seconds. Two. And one, good job team. Nice work, next one's gonna be around the legs. So catch your breath, arms will be a little bit tired. We've got two minutes of this. So around the legs, step back, and then the other leg steps back. Around the legs, step back. Oh, mucked it up. Back, through. Keep it going, nice. Find your rhythm, this one's all about rhythm, keeping it going, right. 
left, right, left. So again, rhythm for a start. Keep that ball going nice and quick. As you guys can feel, it's quite tiring, it's quite a workout. Last 15, let's speed it up. Good speed, nice, keep on it. Oh! Two, one. Woo. Nice set, good 50 seconds. So this time we're going the other way. Again, this is my weak side, that's why we're doing it. Find your rhythm nice and slow. Around the legs, back. Around the legs, good. That's all it is, keep that ball moving. Nice and slow for a start. Nice team. Good, keep your touch going. This left side definitely doesn't feel as natural for me. Right, let's pick up our speed into that last 15. Nice team. Good, back yourself. Keep making it fast. Nice work. Last basketball drill we're going to do. It's quite a tough one. Again, just find your rhythm for a start. Bend those knees. Ball's going to start and start, whoop, start behind us. We're going to flick the ball forward, catch it, flick it back. Good. So you've got to have fast hands for this one. Start in front, flick it back. Good. Nice control for a start. Good. Keep that ball going. Good, those legs will be burning, mine are. Keep working. Good, keep your speed. Nice light touches. The speed team. Good, start to speed up. Oh, we got left, 10 seconds. Good, keep working. Good work. So those first drills are real primers for us. As you can see, I've got a good sweat on. We're into some rugby drills now. So like pistol drill, but we're gonna go directly up. So one, one hand on the ball, passing straight up. One hand, good. So trying to get that nice spiral, big strong follow through, straight up. Don't wanna be starting too low with the ball. Above that belly button, pass straight up. Trying to get a nice spiral on the ball, passing straight up. As you can see, my palm's finishing there, just like we do when we pass, straight up. This is just going to get used to being able to shoot the pass here, so we shoot the pass there. Shoot. Again, if you've got a weak side with your passing, it's a great drill just to get in those reps. Get a bit of confidence on your weak side. Again, we haven't left our box. 50 seconds. Nice team. Now you got your other hand, so my left side. Same hand position, nice and fat, not too end on. Punching straight up. That was an ugly one. Straight up. Trying to get that nice rotation. Straight up. Good, big strong palm. Again, if you're struggling to get it, just be nice and slow, get a nice slow rep in there, and then really get your power happening after that. Starting to get some nice rotation on the ball now, good control. But yeah, don't get real end on the ball, be nice and fat with your grip. If you've got smaller hands, you have to be near the bottom of the ball. Nice reps. Try to get that hand finishing forward. Last two. Good, snap one in. Now we're going to two hands. So I'm big on bringing in this front thumb for good spin on the ball. When we need power, we can rip it. So same hand positioning, front thumb, punching straight up. So start pretty small with these. Don't need to go too crazy with them. We're just getting a real good feel for the rugby ball. Getting that nice rotation. That one got away on me. Straight up. What do we want to do with our follow through? 
both palms facing forward, punching up. So this is going to get us heaps and heaps of reps of this passing motion. It's going to become really natural. So I'm going to start getting a little bit more spin on the ball, so a bit more front thumb. You'll really see that ball rotating. So it's not about how high you can punch. I'm just all about how pretty can I get that ball spinning using that front thumb. If you're outside, you can really get after these and punch up hard. But I don't want you running around chasing your rugby ball. The goal is to stay in this one meter box. Whew, she's warm. Last one, left side. Let's get this front thumb happening. Start nice and small. Front thumb. Get some spin. This one isn't as natural for me as my, my right side. That's why this rep's so good. So remind yourself, front thumb, punch up. Hands are finishing forward. Punch up. Punch up. You'll get a few ugly ones, but that's fine. So now that I've sort of starting to get the hang of it, let's get a little bit more spin on the ball. That one felt really good with my thumb. Punching up. Focus on your follow through. Good work team. That there is 12 minutes of ball skills with the rugby ball. I hope you really enjoyed getting through that. Um, reps, reps, reps and more reps. Do it in your one metre box. You'll be able to get through that at home uh, and really get in the reps. Thanks. Hey guys, thanks for watching this Rugby Bricks video. Head to rugbybricks.com for more info on the passing and kicking development tools and also our full range of kicking tees made and designed in New Zealand.